What up, YouTube? Asian Persuasion here. Uh, we're here at UDS Las Vegas, here with the champion. What's your name, man? Uh, Joey Chow. And uh, what did you play today? Um, I played a Zodiac deck, pure, no kaijus, no artifacts, just pretty much Zodiac with like traps and hand traps. For sure, man. Let's see that belt real quick before we get into this okay, profile. Yeah. We so, we know we got yeah, this young actually, belt. Yeah, Konami actually didn't make his way. So, oh, yeah, wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's the only white one, right? They always make different ones. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Furman also has the white one. So. Oh, cool. We're good friends, so we can For take sure. next to each other. YCSS. And you get this awesome mat. Yep. One, cool. one of 16. There you go, man. Yep, get into cool. this profile. All right, so the hand traps to Maxi. You'll pretty much win any time you draw this going second or first, usually, honestly. Um, I play two Flying C because um, unless they draw Rat and Barrage, usually they don't play around it because if they draw Terra Top or... Rat or Barrage, they'll just tear top, summon Taka Tomborg, make Totem Bird to play around Maxi, and then they'll Barrage and use Flying Sam. Yeah. And then Ghost Ogre, uh, this is probably the worst one out of the three, but it goes pretty well with Flying Sea. Yeah, so it's that soft lock, right, order. when they have Barrage. And sometimes you can just hope if they summon Rat and use its effect, you Ghost Ogre, that'll be enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, three tear top. Um, drew this a lot. It's really good. <laughs> it's called Auto Top. Right? Yeah. Uh, then the Zodiac Engine, three rat, three whip tail. Uh, well, only one thorough blade. Um, I kind of clogged and I didn't even see myself using it to its effect too much because even most of the time you just hold barrage because it loses to every hand trap. So if you draw a rat, you'll just summon it. Yeah. This card actually just loses to every hand trap like Flying C, Maxi, uh, DD Crow, the all that stuff. Team. Yeah. Uh, this combo is insane. You should just have it in every time you go first. <laughs> we'll probably win the game. Yeah. And then even if you draw this, you just search a whip tail and just summon your dragon attack. Uh, two twins, the group space is kind of tight, and uh, but you do need it when you go second. Uh, barrage, thank you. The two my body. Uh, this card's super super good. It's good going first, it's good going second, and then you could actually like my body there, my body. So. Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Um, so I decided three universe. So this is really good going first and second, and. So if you do go first and you open it, you can just uh, you tribute your two guys and summon this guy, and he's like a heavy storm. Yeah. Other than so you can just kill him. And then if you need to try and come back, you just summon uh, Red Ice Flare Metal, and you can't destroy it by card effects. It's 2800 attack. And yeah. So it kind of gives you a chance. Uh, three strike, three barrier, uh, torrential, and combo. This card maybe is really, really good, actually. Yeah. Especially because the deck doesn't run that many monsters. Is that 40 cards? Uh, it is 41 cards. 41, okay. Honestly, you can pretty much just play whatever amount you want this for a match. Yeah, you really can. one cards. Yeah. Um, the uh, universe targets. I actually never really some of the 8 guy very much, but Flare Metal's really good. You didn't get to use that in the finals? Because usually you can, yeah, usually you can choose, but, uh, yeah. I never drew this going first, but gotcha. it was really good. Uh, Invoker, super good. Uh, Totem Bird. Uh, this card's actually just insane because you just make it and then it's like one more negation for cards that they have. Then two, 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 one. Um, I want to play two, but there's just no room. Especially with the Norden sort of combo, tight. yeah. yeah. Uh, two Emerald, uh, Norden with the combo, and Samurai. I side this out for like Starlight Road, Stardust for Starlight Road when I go first. Yeah. And then uh, two crow. Uh, this is for like light sworn or those type of decks or like infernoid. You don't really put this in the mirror because they could easily just not be playing the combo or like it's not super good. Uh, this is for frogs. Oh yeah, we know that's the MVP. Yeah, <laughs> you already memed already, man. Yeah, uh, two dark <laughs> Uh Just going second. All these cards lose to Starlight Road, but if they draw in combo and you don't draw hand trap, you're just gonna lose anyways. Yeah. And then this kind of covers like the light sworn stuff and the infernoid. And you just go first. And then there's actually a lot of room in the side deck, I think. So you can actually just side differently for the mirror when you go first. So I just put in two and shade and disappearance and two star when I go first. And then start the start is dragon. So for sure, man, any shout-outs you want to give? I know you've uh, already got a lot. Just all my friends, Team Skype, everybody that's in the room that I stay with. Uh, Jesse and Silverman for the hotel hookup. Yep, they're over here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my boys from Utah, yeah. For sure, man. Congrats Daniel on you. Daniel especially, because I told them So you're going to go to Denver? That's your next one? Um, so it's kind of weird. Um, we'll see. So there's some other things in the workings, but maybe. For sure, man. Well, congrats on getting this first place, cool. man. And yep. thanks for the deck profile, bro. Cool. Yep.